Hey, what's going on guys? Everybody remembers the large 6.5 earthquake in central Idaho less than a week ago back on March the 31st. Well, I received some photos an hour prior to the earthquake from right down here in Middleton, Idaho, which is in the area of Boise. And the photo was taken to the north, northeast, in the direction of the epicenter of the earthquake which occurred right over here in uh, Chalice, Idaho. 6.2 mile deep earthquake, very shallow, shook seismos all around the globe. And the pictures I'm going to share with you here in a moment are quite rare and what we're looking at hasn't been seen very often. It's still kind of a theory but yet it's been seen many times before and even after large earthquake events. Now we're going to take a look at a little history about what we're going to talk about here and that's earthquake lights. And they are a luminous aerial phenomenon that reportedly appears in the sky at or near areas of tectonic stress, seismic activity, or volcanic eruptions. Skeptics point out that the phenomenon is poorly understood and many of the reported sightings can be accounted for by mundane uh, explanations. Appearance, one of the first records of earthquake lights during the 869 San Riku earthquake, described as strange lights in the sky. The lights are reported to appear while an earthquake is occurring, and there are reports of lights before and after earthquakes, such as the earthquake of 1975 in Kalapana. They are reported to have shapes similar to those of auroras, with white to bluish hue, but occasionally they have been reported in a wide color spectrum. So they have been seen around earthquakes, not necessarily right at the epicenter. The lights were reported to be 70 miles away from some epicenters, and in some cases 250 miles. The 2008 Sichuan earthquake in China, there were earthquake lights seen before that earthquake, and here they are. Here's what they look like from thelivingmoon.com. 30 minutes before the 2008 7.9 magnitude in Sichuan, China. There's the lights that were spotted in the sky. And it goes on to say these have been spotted around volcanic activity, earthquakes in Japan, um, sometimes like we mentioned earlier, 400 miles away or 250 miles away, 400 kilometers, 70 miles away. And here's some other examples. Earthquake lights were reportedly spotted in Tianshu, Gansu, approximately 400 kilometers, that's 250 miles northeast of the epicenter. The phenomenon was also widely observed and caught on film during the 2007 Peru earthquake, 2008 China earthquake, 2009 L'Aquila earthquake, and the 2010 Chile quakes. The phenomenon was also reported around the Amuri earthquake in uh, New Zealand that occurred on September 1st, 1888. The lights were visible in the morning on September 1st and again on September 8th. Here's another look at the lights in China before the very large earthquake. And it goes on to give a lot of theories. Talks about one explanation involves intense electric fields that are created by tectonic movements of rock containing quartz. Another possible explanation is local disruption of the Earth's magnetic field or ionosphere in the region of the tectonic stress, resulting in the observed glow effects either from ionospheric radiative recombination at lower altitudes and greater atmospheric pressure or as aurora. However, the effect is clearly not pronounced or notably observed at all earthquake events and is yet to be directly experimentally verified. Here's another good look at the lights in China before the very large 2008 7.9 earthquake. It goes on to talk about it here and it mentions the earthquake lights in that Wikipedia about the 2008 earthquake in uh, China. So here's the pictures I want to share with you out of Idaho that are very very similar to what you saw right here. Check this out. These were sent in by Catherine from Middleton. Let me show you where she was at. Here's a map. Middleton sits down here by Boise, Idaho. She was looking towards this direction here, Emmett. She was looking in that direction, which would be north, slightly northeast. This is the clouds that she saw right there in this direction. 
The earthquake epicenter was over here, a very large 6.5 and very shallow earthquake. Those clouds were in the sky one hour prior to the earthquake. And this is 119 miles away from approximately, well, that's actually 119, but we don't know exactly where the clouds were with respect to the epicenter. Somewhere in between Middleton, uh, Emmett, and Chalice. And that's somewhere in the 100, probably 90 mile range from the epicenter of the earthquake. And here's the, the pictures that she shared with me. Look at those lights in the sky. And again, one hour prior to the large earthquake on March 31st of 2020 in central Idaho. Here's a, another look from a little farther away. And you can see these are, are very unusual lights. They're not a typical rainbow uh, by, by any stretch of the imagination. That's not a double-decker rainbow. It's not a single rainbow. Those are aurora-like lights. That's what they are. That's what they look like. They have a, a greenish-yellow uh, tint. This one over here is... Uh, profoundly orange and they kind of go up in the sky a little uh, uh, horizontally up here not a round arch those are aurora like lights seen in idaho one hour prior to the large earthquake look at that just an incredible photograph taken by Catherine of middleton who was looking towards emmett in idaho about 100 miles from the epicenter of the large 6.5 earthquake in Idaho on March 31st. Found that interesting because these are very rare. They're elusive. You don't see these very often uh, around large earthquakes. They have been spotted several times, but there's no scientific data that can prove exactly how they occur or even if they're caused by earthquakes. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't know, but they do look very similar to what we just saw here in China back in 2008. Incredible photos. Thanks for sharing, Catherine. Now I've got a Sky Phenomena picture slideshow of some awesome photos that have been sent in recently, and I'm working on many, many more. Several of you guys sent in this uh, Venus Pleiades conjunction from a few nights ago. This one's windy out of northeast Georgia. Just an incredible photograph. I got one from Carlos I'm going to, to share tomorrow. Andy of a fiery orange sky. Look at that. Just beautiful. Another photo by Andy of an orange and gold sky with what looks like a, an asteroid going through the clouds. Middleton, Idaho. Catherine again. I believe this was on the same day as the earthquake, March 31st. Looked like we've got the USS Enterprise flying through the sky. How about that? Awesome photo, once again, by Catherine. Another one by Catherine out of Middleton, Idaho. Looks like some sort of a large cave up in the sky. There's the mountains in the sky out of Louisiana by CNN. Just an incredible photo. I definitely wanted to show that one again. Never seen one quite like that, and I've seen thousands. David R., another incredible photograph. Not sure what we've got going on there. Looks like some sort of spirals or louvers in the sky that are independently in, in one cloud, but they're stretched out horizontally. That looks like a, a can opener of some sort up in the sky. David R., once again. Notice some big loop. Almost looks like a horseshoe up in the sky. David R., again, almost looks like some sort of a ship. Only cloud in the sky like that. Karen out of Bolton, United Kingdom. Near perfect rectangle in the sky. Here it is in a different format. All by itself. Doesn't fit in with the rest of the clouds in the neighborhood. Austin from right out here in Gilbert, Arizona. Noticed a hole punch cloud that was the shape of a ship. How about that? Good observation, Austin. Thanks for sharing. Griffin, Georgia, sent in by Angie. This is a little video clip of something in the sky. I'm not sure if that's Venus, and we'd say, well, how's that Venus when it looks like a donut? And I'll explain why. When you zoom in on Venus, it can get oversaturated, and it will expand out into what looks like a donut. I've had it happen to me. That's how I know. Um, I'm not sure that's what we have going on here. Something in the sky, though, that she was very intrigued by. More than likely, it's not Venus, but... Good little video clip sent in by Angie out of Griffin, Georgia, Lebanon, Missouri, Anita W. Now that's clearly a double-decker rainbow. Danielle out of Hawaii. Looked like some sort of an asteroid or meteor went through the sky. Lena from the Irish Sea. 
Looks all blue right there. And then an hour later or so, it went green. How about that? Great observation by Lena, who's always wide awake and on the ball over there in Ireland, sending in spectacular photos from out over the Irish Sea. This is a photo I took right out here in Arizona. A lot of colors in the proximity of the sun. Again, been seeing that quite a bit lately. That's why I've been very intrigued by that. There's some uh, very vivid colors. Nicole out of Kansas. Spectacular sun coming up over the horizon. Iowa Steve K. Got a rainbow back in there behind that pink sky. Double-decker rainbow here by Wade H. I put the two together. He sent me in two photos because it wouldn't fit in one. And there it is. That's what he saw. Northeast Georgia, Wendy L. A four leaf clover saw a five leaf the other day and today we've got a four leaf excellent job guys thanks for sharing as always keep the photos coming if you guys are new viewers make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and you always want to click on that bell that way you'll be notified each time i upload a new video if you're a current subscriber double check the bell and double check the subscribe button make sure they're both still active if you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos go to the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery, and sometimes I use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.